Today I'm going to talk to you about the backswing. The backswing has two main purposes. One, to store up energy, and two, to put the club in a good striking position. Taking a look at this down the line view, I've got two couple lines drawn here. One yellow line over the club shaft, and this um, uh, represents the shaft plane, and a red line that at the bottom of it is at the ball, and the top of it rests on my shoulders. And this sort of represents Ben Hogan's pane of glass that, in his book, The Five Modern Fundamentals of Golf. The idea is to take your backswing so that it stays within that cone, the cone of, uh, that we've created between the yellow line and the red line. And I think the best way to do that is to start the club back with a one-piece takeaway. Now, what is a one-piece takeaway? One-piece takeaway is when... The golfer moves the club away from the ball with his shoulders and arms, this triangle. This triangle just moves the club away from the ball as though he's going to hand the club back to a catcher. And I continue this rotation or this twisting of my body up until it's complete, until I've twisted as much as I can. Now, I've set this club just beneath this red line, and that's a pretty good position. Um, if you have a tendency to get the club back up above this red line, that would be termed a very steep backswing. And a steep backswing is going to produce an out-to-end swing path, and the ball is going to either be pulled left of your target, or it's going to have a slice. Likewise, if you get the club too far back here behind your body, if your hands are back well behind your right shoulder, that would be termed a flat or shallow backswing. That golfer is going to have a tendency to hit the ground behind the ball and hit shots that start off to the right and will just go into the right trees or have a hook. Now, how can you work on your backswing? I'd recommend working in front of a mirror. If you have a mirror at home, you can take rehearsal backswings and, and look at yourself in this view and deter see where your hands are relative to your shoulder and body. Ideally, they're going to be just over or to the right of your right shoulder. Now I'm going to talk to you about getting the club, um, storing up energy. And I'll start again with the one-piece takeaway. I established a triangle at a dress with my shoulder line and my arms. And it's important that I take that, the club away with that triangle. And when that happens, I will create a nice wide arc here and keeping that club away from my body. Keeping that wide arc helps store up energy. Secondly, I'm going to twist my shoulders around my spine as far as I physically can. So in this shot, I'm getting my left shoulder just back behind the ball. Now it's important to remember that everyone's backswing is going to be a little bit different depending on your flexibility. Also, when my shoulders have finished turning, my arms have stopped. So I'm going to stop my arms when my shoulder stops. Now when that happens, my club shaft, as you can see, does not reach parallel to the ground. So some people might think this is a short backswing, but for me, this is as physically as far as I can take it back. Now, what happens when you try to take the club back too far? Well, notice I've drawn a line on my head. And if you try to take the club back farther than is physically possible, what's going to happen is you're not going to maintain your posture at a dress. So you can see now my head is well up above the yellow line where it started. And of course now my club shaft is well beyond parallel. John Daly has the, the ability to take the club back beyond parallel and perform quite well but I'm likely to miss the ball with this backswing. So I would encourage you to practice at home rehearsing your backswing and working on two things. One, getting the position right, and two, working at making a nice wide long backswing as long as you can while at the same time maintaining your posture. And I think if you can make your backswing consistent, it'll lead to much better shots. So let's take a look at this swing in action. Uh, 
All right, good luck. And if you have time, get down to the marina and practice.